Hello and welcome to another episode of the SciShow Talk Show, where it's SciShow and we talk. Today, joining me in the studio is my wife, Catherine Green. Hello, it is me again. Today you have for me, I've heard, more cat stuff. I, I have an endless supply of things about cats to talk about. I'll and then, it. I'm going to see an animal. Ooh. And my shirt may change color. <laughs> <laughs> we film these at different times of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, more cats? Wild cats? Yes. Okay. Um, I typed in wild cats and it's all about sports teams. <laughs> we were the wild cats, actually. <laughs> in Winter Park High School. Yeah, well, it's a generic term. Yeah, and I mean, usually when you think about a wild cat, you're thinking about a big cat. Exactly. You're that like was... the lions and the tigers and the cougars. Mm -hmm. Or whatever a cougar is. A uh, cougar is actually not within the uh, subfamily Panthera. Okay. Which... Panthers, though, they are. Pan it's actually Pantheranae. Pantheranae. And, I'm um... guessing the panthers are in that family. <laughs> Well, subfamily. No. No? It's a surprise, isn't ah. it? <laughs> wow, you should have tried to stump me. Hank, are panthers in Pantera? Then I would have definitely said no. Yeah, jaguars because... and leopards are. Huh. And tigers and lions, obviously. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so everything else is actually in the subfamily Felinae. Felinae. Um, and there are about 32 other species of wild cats. So the um, smaller cats. Smaller cats and also cheetahs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, puma, which is the actual name of the mountain lion. Okay. So um, so mountain lions, jag, no, mountain lions, <laughs> uh, panthers, uh, cougars, mm -hmm. Anything else? Catamount. Catamount. Is another colloquial name. Those are all the same thing. Puma. They're pumas. Mm -hmm. Puma concolor is the scientific name for that animal. And there are actually, there are lots of different um, subspecies. Mm -hmm. So. Right, like Florida panther. Yeah, and... you'll know that, that there's a Florida panther and there's a Texas cougar and then there's some subspecies down in South America. Um, but the puma concolor is actually one of the most widely distributed cats mm -hmm. because it ranges all across the Americas, um, which is really interesting because a lot of the rest of them are so small range specifically developed yeah. that they only exist in small areas. Okay. Um, but something about the um, the puma, uh, it was just able to yeah it fit itself useful. into yeah. all these all these different areas and. So they can actually crossbreed with one another right. because they're, they're not so widely diverged that they've become separate species. Um, but the subspecies uh, can actually crossbreed. So there was some problems with um, conservation of the Florida panther, uh, which is a subspecies which has specific um, adaptations to the Florida habitat. Um, crossbreeding with a Texas cougar that had escaped from a zoo hmm. or they had just introduced it um, right. into the habitat. So yeah, it's still technically a the puma, same species. Yeah. but it has now sort of developed into something that's not exactly the Florida panther, not right. exactly the Texas cougar, but still sort of filling that, yeah. that niche in, the, in that area, which is... Um, interesting because there aren't that many large carnivores right. in Florida. Yeah, them and the alligators. Mm -hmm. um, now it's time to see a real animal in the studio. Ooh, let's do it. Let's see a real animal in the studio. <gasps> Bring it on. Here we have Slither, which is a snake of some kind. I don't know anything about what I do not recognize this snake species. Well, that's great. Let's do. Let's talk about a little bit about her, and then we will tell you what she is. So she lives in North America. She lives in eastern Montana. Okay. Oh. Um, she's the largest or longest Native American, you know, North American snake. They can get up to seven feet long. Ooh. And she likes to mimic the rattlesnake. Uh huh. Yeah, I can see that it's like a. Kind like of a the pattern is similar. Mm -hmm. Similar yeah. color. 
color and pattern. her tail <clears throat> here tries mm. to pretend to be the, the you know the coloration mm -hmm. but what's neat is if she gets threatened she's going to shake that tail as fast as she can against dry leaves mm -hmm. and it's going to make like a ch -ch 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 noise making a, the a pseudo thing. rattle yeah cool and then she can flatten her head oh, oh wow make it more mm -hmm. rattlesnake yeah. shape i was assuming that you hadn't brought in a poisonous snake you were hoping you were hoping <laughs> um, but i did notice that the head was a little bit broader than most um, non poisonous snakes yeah. i've seen so yeah. that's just mimicking yeah. yeah you're right she's not poisonous and in most places she would be called a gopher snake mm -hmm. okay. and other places she's called a bull snake hmm. just cuz no nah, she eats gophers okay and she would not eat a bull she would not eat a bull no no. Does that. she hide in gopher dens? Does she, use she she might. She would go down into holes or there. Um, dog but holes or things like that. Yeah, she's mostly going to hang out in you know the dry grasses. She's going to blend right in, you know, camouflage right into that mm -hmm. scene there. And would you like to hold Slither? Sure. That's allowed. Yes. Oh, it's allowed. You just kind of go right over my shoulder, so I, <laughs> I def definitely won't drop her. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going? That's the wrong way. Over here. Oh, you're Hi. You see Catherine too. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, it's it's amazing when you actually do touch them because they're just like all, this all muscle. It's a rope yes. of muscle. Mm -hmm. It's so. <laughs> it's unlike anything. <laughs> and she's got so you a little hold yeah. over here. <laughs> so is choke hold a constrictor? Is that yes. the method of? Yep, and you can you can tell she's a constrictor. She's. Mm -hmm. She's got those muscles. She's going to do a lot of, of bending and, and holding on to mm -hmm. things. Um, and yep, she'll she'll constrict. So what she'll do is for hunting wise, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to use her tongue. And you know what they use their tongue for, right? Scent. Yep, they're going to stick it out there, kind of like the air. What's going like on? Velcro almost. They're going to stick it out, and all the little scent particles are going to stick to their tongue. Where are you going? <laughs> Just around. <laughs> Just hanging out. Not okay. not there. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to choke you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get back to Jesse. Comfy spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little Found uncomfortable. A new friend. Are you a little uncomfortable? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. <clears throat> I trust you, Slither. She's a good girl, and and she's a good snake to trust. Um, she was in a child's home for the first 16 years of her life, so wow. she's almost 18 now. Um, and so she's just, she's used to everything, just hangs out. Mm -hmm. But she is smelling the air a lot. Mm -hmm. So she sticks that tongue out, it's like Velcro, comes back in and then goes inside a, inside nose, because it's called a Jacobson's organ. And so okay. each one of those, you know. Clicks. Yeah, they're going to go into each hole up there, I guess. And it's going to be a GPS system for her. So, they so have she smells something with this size. nostrils as well, though, right? Oh. They breathe through their nostril. Okay, that's just for mm -hmm. breathing. Yeah. Don't Interesting. Don't try to fight. There she goes. Don't try to fight her. Well, Where'd you go? <laughs> Fell down a little bit. I was like, no, you should go this way. And she was like, no, I shouldn't. Nope, I'm going this way. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting my blood pressure taken. <laughs> she's pretty strong. So she's going to find her prey that way. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to eat side. So you can side. actually like feel which side is closer smell, to the thing. Yeah, yeah. So she so smells like, it with this. She's going to turn this like stereo way. stereo scent. And then she'll smell that way. And if it's both of them, she will go straight forward. And what she's going to do is she's going to bring her body closer to whatever she's going after, mm -hmm. and she's going to S her neck like keep this. Keep her head in the same Yeah. Place. And so then she can do an extended, kind of like your arm like that. She can mm -hmm. extend and grab, do the strike. And they have really neat teeth. Their teeth are not used for chewing. They're like this. Just for holding. Yeah. And she'll kind of walk that animal into her mouth. This jaw is absolutely amazing. Um, the skeleton on this, on snakes, is, is really, really, really neat. Um, so many points of of flexion that they can do. So they're going to expand down here. It's going to be like on rubber bands. And then they have this line on the bottom of their face there. And that is used for, so it stretches down like this and it's going to stretch open like that. And they're going to bring their whole lower jaw over that animal, walk it in with their teeth, <laughs> <laughs> and pull it down their body into their stomach, which mm -hmm. is about right here. And that's Stomach's just through muscular mm -hmm. motions that they Bring it back down into yeah. their stomach? Yeah, so that once they get it in their mouth, mm -hmm. they'll push it, they'll actually move their body like mm. this and push it <laughs> down. And you can see this big lump uh -huh. and push it down past their neck and past their heart and down into their stomach, which is about down here, yeah. Exhaling. 
Um, so Would why is like the stomach so far down the body? Mm -hmm. Um, well, they're just very long, just long. and so <laughs> <laughs> they're, get uh, it down there somewhere. their neck is long and their heart is going to be a little long hey. and hey. Their heart is long. Where are well, you going? It, there you go. See that table? That's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Everything's kind of stretched out mm -hmm. in snakes, so they have two mm -hmm. lungs, but they good only girl. use one. And so that one lung kind of sits along the side of their body and it runs a good length of their body. And so every, all of their organs are kind of stretched so out. So that's why it just it spans mm -hmm. a greater distance than, you know, that's big crazy. area. Yeah. Where you going? And they have backbone and they have ribs that go almost the whole length of their entire body. Yeah. She's looking good. Yeah. She's a good looking snake. Good we can thoughts. be friends. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So there, it was a pleasure to have you on SciShow today. And thank you, Jesse, from Animal Wonders for bringing her in. Thanks for having us. Very cool. Thanks for the cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching this episode of the SciShow Talk Show. Thank you to Catherine for coming in and sharing more cat things with us. My pleasure. And thank you, of course, to Jesse from Animal Wonders. And we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you next time. My shirt changed colors. <laughs>